There finally seems to be light at the end of the tunnel for the trapped laborers inside the Uttarkashi tunnel. The operation to rescue these 41 workers trapped inside this tunnel that you see that collapsed partially in Uttarakhand is expected to be completed in just about two hours by 8 a.m. This is what a rescue officer has said on record. Now, most of the drilling work has been completed and there is hope that the trapped workers could be rescued anytime now. But up until midnight, less than 12 meters of rock and debris separated the 41 workers trapped in the, inside this collapsed tunnel in Uttarakhand, Silkiara. In fact, a US-made drill bored another six meters into the hillside. Meanwhile, food and medicine have been given via a second pipeline as we have been covering. Ambulances are on standby. They've already reached the site to ferry the laborers once they've been rescued and hospital beds have also been prepared to treat them. Meanwhile, a safety audit of all 29 under construction tunnels across India has also been ordered. Let's listen in to the official reactions coming in from Ground Zero. My colleague Mohammed Ghazali joining us live at the moment from Ground Zero. Ghazali, thanks so much for joining us. This morning, the operation to rescue these trapped workers is expected to be completed by 8 a.m. That's what officials are saying on the ground. Uh, the situation is very fluid, Parmeshwar, because uh, this was being told to us uh, last evening as well, that this is uh, around 15 meters has to be covered, what was told to us at around 5 p.m. yesterday. But late in the night, we got to know that there is some metallic object which the drilling machine can't pass through then another metal cutter was brought in to cut that part or that hard rock which the drilling machine is stuck while penetrating into the debris. And uh, then we heard this official saying that perhaps the entire rescue operation will get over by 8 a.m. Uh, but what we are picking up is that the operation just doesn't involve clearing the debris, but it also involves, there are two things, two parts which is more time consuming. One, the drilling part which clears which keep clearing the debris the other part is the welding of pipes through which the uh, laborers are expected to crawl and come outside of the tunnel now that welding thing can go on continuously but the drilling thing can't go on continuously because that's an auger machine uh, and and there are chances that it the blades of which may get damaged as well so they're trading very cautiously they're not in a hurry that we have to do it right at, by 8 a.m. or by 6 a.m. That is why yesterday there was a hurdle. The operation got, the, the drilling and all got stopped for a while. Today morning they have resumed it again and uh, we don't know the timeline as of now. Nobody knows it. Because even when the pipe manages to reach uh, near the laborers, uh, they will not be immediately brought out of the tunnel. One doctor from the di uh, disaster relief team will go towards that side he will do a primary kind of health checkup and inspection that who is more vulnerable, whether everybody is okay or not. Then he will show how to crawl through the tunnel. Or where, and, uh, and there is another option, plan B as well, that perhaps some people may, be, uh, may have got weak by staying in the tunnel for the last uh, uh, 12 days. And then a stretcher with a wheel, wheel mounted, uh, 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 a stretcher with a wheel on it will be passed through the tunnel. The laborers will be asked to lie, lie, lie on the, uh, that stretcher and then it will be pulled out of the tunnel, uh, pulled out of, uh, 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 from that side of the tunnel. Once they come over this side, like towards the opening of the tunnel, then again there will be a health checkup. Because why this will be a time consuming exercise? Because the temperature inside the tunnel is different. 
the temperature outside the tunnel where we are present is different then yet again they have to be sent to a local hospital a makeshift hospital the temperature there will be different so the temperature difference the body may not adapt to it immediately they are pulled out immediately and sent to the hospital so just so that they can adapt to with the with the on with the current temperature and all and since they have been lying uh, is stuck there or trapped there for the last 12 days all precautions are being taken it's just the last bottleneck we are uh, uh, we are sort of observing here because it was expected that maybe had that metal object or that big rock which we are being told that which uh, which sort of uh, stopped the drilling process there which led to the suspension of drilling process had that not been found in the rubble this operation would have been uh, i'm sure would have been complete or got over by last evening itself but it now they are trading very cautiously because the secretary of road and transport minister in delhi day before yesterday in a press briefing had told very uh, uh, specifically that uh, the all limitation of auger machine is that it can keep drilling but they are only fearing that it may not touch or it may not face any hard rock or a metal object and exactly that's what happened yesterday evening which led to the suspension of the drilling machine but today morning the officials were quoted saying that we have managed to get over that hurdle and now the drilling has again started but uh, uh, the pipes and the welding of pipes because uh, the problem is that the officials or nobody knows that how much area that rubble had occupied has occupied inside the tunnel so they keep pushing 6 meters of pipe and by then one 6 meter of pipe is pushed in then another 6 meter of pipe is kept ready so that it is welded and then again pushed through so uh, the welding takes time the drilling takes time both are time consuming the auger machine speed what we were told was around it penetrates 3 to 4 meters in 1 hour so even if 10 to 12 meters are left uh, to reach close to the uh, laborers location then it will take around i am sure it will take around 3 to 2 to 3 hours now if the operation is started early morning around 3 4 or even 5 then the expected time of uh, the rescue op to get over is around 8 am but we are still taking we are still not taking any call on it that okay 10 8 am is the deadline neither the officials are doing so they have given a free hand to the rescue ops people engaged in the rescue op that they have to trade very cautiously and they are in constant touch with the laborers on the other side so that even they have this confidence that it is just getting over they are right there they are going to see the world now after being trapped for 12 days inside the tunnel so the ops are going on and how we pick up that the operation is going on right behind me uh, you may not be able to see right now because it's dark but there is an exhaust pipe on top of the entrance of the tunnel that uh, that exhaust pipe uh, uh, sort of shows that the dust particle that has been installed so that the dust and other smoke can come out while the drilling operation is going on every time that exhaust machine is working we get to know that things are moving ahead inside the tunnel and and we can see that there is no drilling happening right now so perhaps the pipe welding thing has been done and it's just the drilling which is happening inside right now so perhaps it may take 2 it may take 3 hours but 8 am is what we have been told that perhaps around 8 or 9 am they will come out of the tunnel or the rescue op will come uh, will get over when they will come out of the tunnel it may take another 1 hour or so because there are 41 men trapped there so checking each one of them will certainly take time and uh, <coughs> psychologically also since they have been trapped for around 12 days and once the that uh, pipe or that opening reaches there everyone will be excited to get through it and to ensure that because these are welded pipes with sharp edges as well so to ensure that that nobody gets hurt while moving inside the tunnel the ndrf and the sdrf people are there to ensure, they will go first on that side check through and under their supervision allow them to cross the those big pipes big diameter pipes to come on the other side of the tunnel like on this side of the tunnel but they won't be immediately brought out there will be health checkups inspection then an ambulance has been on standby this will go directly near the entrance of the tunnel and 41 ambulances are there on the way we saw around 41 ambulances for those 41 people they all will be uh, shifted or transferred to a nearby makeshift hospital where the chief minister himself is waiting for them and uh, the other hospitals like aims rishikesh uh, hospitals in dehradun hospital uh, the district hospital in this district in in uttarakashi doctors health experts health officials they are all on standby 
One important thing is that, uh, as I mentioned about the body temperature and the temperature outside, generally inside the tunnel, uh, in any tunnel, the temperature inside is is uh, higher than the temperature outside. So in the sense that if we are feeling cold right now here in Uttarkashi, outside the Silkyara tunnel, the laborers may not be feeling cold about it. They may, Sorry, and, and, and these laborers have been working in this tunnel for the last one or two years. So they also know, they, they had carried their woolen cloths and all while working inside. Though the government also, the authorities also provided them through the same foot pipe, woolen clothes or warm clothes were also sent to them. Uh, so the body temperature, their mental strength or the mental status, they all needs to be checked whether they're all fine. There would be adrenaline rush once they see the pipe. So, so to all to, to, to monitor all that, experts are around and then a final call will be taken when they will be moved out of the tunnel towards the makeshift hospital.